Hey and welcome back to the channel, Toby's Real Skills with Toby. That's still me. In today's video, guys, I just got noted and informed about there is a GUI beta available again. Well, you've seen a couple of videos already, this GUI beta, and it's pretty much the same, but I had a chance to install it on one of my devices, it's in this case the Raspberry Pi 4, my test device. I installed it. I'm even able to see it in the Venus S portal. So right now, let's jump into it. Let's I'll show you what it looks like and what I had to do or not, but fairly simple. So this is what it looks like, Raspberry Pi 4. This is one of my installations and we will later fill in the gap that we can see even the better from here. Well, actually, we can see the better from here. I didn't go further. I was too excited. So in this case, let's let's connect to our Raspberry Pi. Um, this is my Raspberry Pi 4. I was playing around um, earlier and then I realized, oh wait a second, um, I should maybe go back and install my, um, correct, my relay again. I uh, didn't finish this yet, have to do it afterwards. Um, but let's focus on just what's happening here. So what we need to do right now, we're running the version 3.2020 as of last update. The video is up there and you can find it. And we need to go into settings then go to firmware. We can see right now install 3.22. Let's go to online updates. And what we need to change, and I changed it already here, is you most likely have the official release. And when you press check for updates, you will see there's no new version when you have the 3.2020 installed. But when you go in here and change it to better release, and then press to check for updates, you will see there's a new version. In this case, 3.30. Um, 11 so I'll go and install this one and note you can always revert back to your previous installation but in case there's some configuration some specific configuration you always have to manually adjust because you do not have to set up in helper installed like this one this might get just discarded so remember if there's any manual steps you need to do always after firmware update when you revert back to your previous version you also have to do all those manual updates so good time for you to change to setup helper and try to make your changes persistent as much as possible. I'll just go ahead and do the installation. We'll be back as soon as this one's restarted. And there it is. Nice. Yep, we are almost back. I did some changes before. Should have done not, but anyways. The relay is partially working, <laughs> but what we've done now, let's double check. We have the settings, firmware, we can see the better version 3.30.11 uh, is here installed, no new version available. And right now, um, when I go to pages, I can, you know, I don't have a lot of stuff installed here. Um, that's really not my intention right now. but. Because I did a relay installation, I did not set up yet the one wire temperature sensor. So, just in case you confused, I'm too. I didn't do that. So, regardless, let's go to settings really quick. We scroll all the way down. I mean, I see change uh, to dark mode is already here. Package manager is installed already, and it did install. Yeah, setup helper, display setup, temperature, GUI mod. Everything's installed. So it's great to see. But. Nothing else I do see here. That was not intention. I do not know the link. Um, I think I tried to GUI better. So IP address and then uh, slash GUI better. Early already it didn't work. Maybe it works now. We'll see in a second. But, wanna watch, but what I want to show you is we go back to our VM portal, refresh, and now you can see here on the side GUI version 2 better. Take this with a grain of salt. I do not know what's working, what's not working. I only did Previously, like 30 minutes back, I clicked around and was just happy to see what's happening. So regardless, I did reboot. I waited a few seconds maybe. Maybe it didn't wait long enough now. You might have to wait um, one or two more minutes. I'm clicking on it now. And this is what's happening. I'm not interrupting it, just let it boot and whatnot. So it looks like it's loading. The first attempt I'd had, uh, it did not load, so I waited another minute and then it worked. And here you can see the new GUI. You might remember, maybe you've watched the videos which I did, one other GUI better, a couple months back. It looked similar. What's very impressive, 
of course I don't have a lot of stuff connected, but what's very impressive, how quickly this one responds, which is, do you see that, how quickly this works? And this is remote, via the VRM portal, going all the way to the VRM server somewhere and then back here locally on my device. So I'm going through the internet and that's how responsive it is. Let's go to firmware. Well, I think I clicked too, yeah, I clicked too quick. Wow, just one click. Firmware, there, online updates. Uh, check for updates, checking, no new version available. This is impressive, this is amazing. What's awesome, I don't know if I see it here, but uh, when I go when I go down here, uh, oh, wow, when I go down and then up again, interesting, oh, nope, nope, can't go down, doesn't look like it does let me go down. I wanted to see if I can see the package manager, but I can't get there, doesn't look like well, it's better, so might not everything uh, be in here already, but I can see the Raspberry Pi processor temperature. I see a little overview if I would have connected way more devices. And on that note, you can see inverted charger, AC loads, battery, nothing connected as of now, but I can give you an update already or maybe something which will come down the road pretty soon, in the next few weeks. We'll be installing MultiPlus 2 in our setup and then we'll go from there with multiple different configuration setups and whatever you want to do. I also want to include even Node-RED, so I hope those things will be coming pretty soon so we can share the progress on that part as well. And if you have any questions, something specific you want to see, or you can share or want me to share, please leave it in the comment section below. And that would be a good time to subscribe to the channel because you will get the notifications as soon as I upload those videos. And you might be the first one who can dislike hopefully like those videos as well but um, regardless that's all I wanted to show you it's a bummer I don't have a battery connected maybe I should do that pretty soon here on this device as well but uh, I do like how responsive this one is and I don't know if you can see that in the video but it's it's really quick uh, it's wow oh, it's just it's a blast nice oh the device list yeah of course ah nice I like it Maybe one more thing I didn't share it. When you go to the old overview, which is so slow and boring compared to the new one, that's how it should be. Um, I checked, because in, in the past, what I did, um, because it didn't work at the beginning with the GUI better, I went to, I think, I believe it's services and then the Q MQTT. That was something I had to enable last time, and it's still enabled here. So the MQTT on LAN, SSL and plain text. So if it's not working for you, try it out if you have to activate that as well. I don't, I'm not certain. I don't want to mess with that. Um, I don't think it's really worth it at the moment, but I like and what I see here with our new GUI, and I like the direction where it's going. Keep in mind, subscribe to the channel if you liked the video. That was all for me today. Thanks for watching. Cheers!